Hello, and welcome to Tales of Vesteria. What have you got to say, Alicia? Not Alicia. Let me tell you no, in there. What? That girl, Rose, she conducts way too much power. How so? I was able to enact the armatus and control her body even when she was completely zonked out. What do you mean? She's far too used to the power of the Seraphim. It's probably because Dezel's been secretly interfering from the sidelines for so long. All right, moving her body he somewhere. He manipulated her on multiple occasions while she was asleep or unconscious. If that weren't the case, there'd be no real explanation for why such power flows through her. So Dezel used Rose to his own ends time and time again? Just to get his revenge? And just as he was hoping, Rose had the ability to enact the Armada. Which I could have sworn was a... she loses consciousness, she can be manipulated freely. He's crafted the ideal vessel out of her. I could have, Keep that in mind. I could have sworn the Amatis was a uh, okay. shepherd only thing or a shepherd special. We're becoming quite the family here. Here we are. Yeah, Rose and Dezel are actually pretty cool. Well, I don't know about Rose, but if Dezel heard that, I'm quite sure he would object. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Exploring these ruins like this gave me some perspective again. I'd gotten too worked up. Thank you, Miklio. You helped yourself. Don't thank me. Never thank you. We got, uh, Oshi Ushu or something like that. That's Oish. His name is Oish. Hey, Dizzle. Uh, what? N no, well, I, I mean, uh, not really. Just. Just what? I, uh. I kind of like having you and Rose around. You've known him for like five what? seconds. What the hell are you getting at? I mean, I used to think we were the only group of humans and Seraphim who traveled together. It used to be quite a common affair. Even if people couldn't see us, couldn't hear our voices, they could feel us by their side. Together we laughed. Together we cried. What happened? Did people just forget Weren't all of the believing? like that? Exactly. And so that's why. Hey, know this. We may be working together, but if you get in the way of what I need to do, there will be problems. Shepherd. I could probably take you. Haven't I taken you before? Wind of Vengeance. Ah, oh, that's what I want to do. It's no foul actions. I want to turn on partner divinity, sub divinity. There we go. And sub partner change. That way I can actually force them into going into their uh, divinity and the like. Wind stepping is good. Norman for the wind is fine. Snack remedy. I don't have Rose yet, that'll be why. And I want to go to Amatis. How do I do the healing stuff? Uh, activate RT while idle. Okay. RT while idle during a combo and X while not doing anything. That was, I think, all I wanted to check. I believe, though. Yes. All right, let's go talk to Lila. Are you concerned about Dezel? Well, kind of. If his aim is to kill Hellions, I want to stop him somehow. If it does come to that, the Prime Lord has the authority to restrain a Sublord if he decides to act up. You can do that? Yes, but ideally I'd rather not that have sense. to. Don't ever wanna. Though there is a hierarchy between the Prime Lord and Sublord, I'd rather we be friends. Hmm. If Dezel travels along with you, Saray, I'm certain that he'll find some other reason for living besides revenge. He is a Seraph too, after all. He's a very angry Seraph. We should wake up, Oish. Yep, he's waking up. Welcome back to the world of the living, Oish. So you're finally awake. <laughs> Boy, howdy. You really helped me out there. My gratitude to the shepherds and, of course, my Seraph brethren. I'm Saray. This is Lila, Edna, Dezel, Miklio, and the one sleeping over there is... That dog is talking! <laughs> right on point. You're awake. Yep. I 
am called Oish, though I may not look it, I'm as much a seraph as any of them. I'm getting a crash course, Mystic Secrets of the Seraph. You don't really crash. Just sort of walked in on some of them. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Rose. Looks like she's used to it. So, shall we return now that Rose has recovered and awakened? I don't know. She's having so much fun. No screaming and punching? Lame. We're wasting time. Let's head back. But there's still ruins to explore. Hold up! We haven't found anything yet. And there's more ruin left to explore. Ah, what she said. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Yep! Keep going! When did she suddenly become so excited and we're not done with our little ruin exploring? Yet. No vacation from this day. Shut up, Edna. Then let us proceed further in. Saray, are you Always. Ready? Thanks, everyone. All right. Oish. I do love them. Oi, oish, oi, oi, oish. <laughs> you folks are a blast, I tell you. Be careful out there. See you later, mystical doggy. So she's fine with the dog, but anything else just freaks the fuck out. Uh. Yeah. Let me check this. Legend of the Dragons. That's a lot of dragons. Are these statues of the eight serpents? No, it can't be. The numbers don't match. But it does look like relics of dragonism. Taking the era into account, it might be logical to assume that the dragonist religion originates from that legend. I can understand the whole deity worship thing, I guess. But why these dragons can be seen. Beings of incomprehensible power. Symbols of awe-inspiring terror. Humans probably hoped that praise to such an entity would help them somehow. Oh, shoot. I've been all over, but I've never so much as seen a dragon's footprints. Oh, though I bet that thunder we heard at Rayfalk is enough to inspire dragon. Oh, it's more That's than enough. That one was real. <laughs> sure. You can go there and verify for yourself. You would probably die, though. What? We, uh, we met a dragon at Rayfalk. It was, uh, Edna's brother. Wait, isn't Edna a seraph? Yep. A dragon is what you get when a seraph accumulates too much malevolence. <sighs> it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I agree with you that praying to a dragon is a stupid idea. Cool. Oh, I pressed that at some point. Now we get to go do fun stuff. Like, get across here. By jumping through here. This is our new ability. We get to jump across small gaps. Hooray. <laughs> That's very much the entirety of the ability is... Jump across small gaps, hooray. I have a thing over here if I remember, but yep. One of these. Chamomile. I should look at the stats of these guys. Um, ah, it's just pressed down in it. So, what are we looking at? 202, 118. Wow, he's strong. Not much focus, though. He's super into attack, though. She's super attack and archer attack. What levels? 22, 21s? Yeah. Wow, they're actually our strongest people. Almost. She's like the second strongest archery. Third strongest. That's kind of insane, actually. She almost perfectly fits the average as well. I've we got Dizel Miklio. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, okay. So we got new attacks here. You hate fire, so if I go you and that, no, you and that, and then I do you and you. Ah, oh, you don't have any thing, it's fine. But you don't have any um, SP, so that's fine. No any glass gauge. I'm gonna turn them into um, a fire seraph, a fire amatus. You act on instinct way too much. Oh, did your instinct tell you that? Is that it? Okay. Luring. If you get enough people, or uh, if you meet enough enemies, you can start telling them, or start luring them towards you so you get more uh, stuff, basically. Hey, look, it's a uh, Urban Victoria. Urban Historia, yeah. even. We could see this from above. Yellow Gem. Tva. Not much going on here, it's just a lot of battles.
But yeah, and uh, Helfried was there with some girl who has not been brought up yet. That was in the intro uh, video. That's about as much as we know about her so far. Evil residence is coming out from the center. Hey, look, it says Lizard's Men, because we were fighting before. They were hard. You're going to be goddamn impossible. Why? Also, it might too imply from this that the more Hellions a Hellion defeats, the stronger the Hellion gets. What was that? It looked like a monster. It's the Earth in Historia. It records events from the past. Is this a record of wars throughout the world? And so that guy, Heldal, he's using those wars as crucibles to breed more malevolence. He pits Hellions against each other in order to increase their strength. I guess and it is, yes. Disgusting. Don't be quiet. His heart is surely sunk in the depths of darkness. That's the truth of the Lord of Calamity. Dangerous encounter? What does that mean? What does a dangerous encounter mean? Oh, he's level 28. He's also level 28. Uh, let's go like this. Don't you hate ground? You do. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do this. Go. Nice. I want you to heal yourself and me. Can I get this out? Can I get this out? I can't. Very simple. Yes, that's a good one. That's an area of effect heal. Go back into your armor. You've lost it. There's no way of sort of telling them to stay in the armor position. They sort of just come out whenever they feel like it. Get out of here! Hey! That was pretty good, Shorty. Being big is for losers. Big losers. <laughs> They're gonna get along swell. Mango sherbet. Yo. Get across here. Get across here. And get across here. We've got Silver Key. Yes, very good. That was that thing I was talking about. Uh, go. And go. Where were the other Silver Keys? Lady Lake. There was safes in Lady Lake that was silver. Let's have a quick save, just in case. And now we're out in the forest. Well, we're above the forest anyway. Oh, we're Norman. Hmm? Hmm. Can you equip with open skills? What do you do? You do defense capabilities. Uh, I gave this to you on your battle. Calite garment. So, defense capabilities are plus 10%. Garment. Check, check, check. There we go. You got horns. They're just cosmetic horns. Thinking about it. Thinking of cosmetics, I need to give you. A bracelet, and I need to give you a bracelet. There was something else you can give her. There's merchant haircut. This is her with her short hair for some reason. And you got also uh, Alicia's clothes. Well, blue clothes. And if you played uh, God Eater, uh, here's Nana's clothes. <laughs> yeah, they go a bit extreme with her clothes and God Eater for some strange reason. I could never wonder why. But hey, look, a map. Speaking of maps. Are we at the end? I think so. I wonder if she'll ever really get used to this. 
This mural seems to depict the trial that the one who is to be the shepherd must Yay, undertake. Yay, trials. I love trials. I did not expect to find such a thing here. Wow, the shepherd's trial, huh? Is this blotch here supposed to represent the continent of Glenwood? Then this insignia thingy marks where the shepherd is supposed to go. Is that right? Lila, is that the case? Tonight's dinner, Mabo Curry! Don't mind her. She gets a little random sometimes when things come up that she can't talk about because of her oath. Oath? Like a diet? <laughs> <laughs> so there are four places with that mark. One in the north part of Lake Haven Heights. Two in the southern end of the middle of the continent. And the last one is in the direction of Western Bolt Gorge. Well, if they call it a trial, that means something good happens if you finish So is Galwood, like, like me, Pangea sort of deal, just one super continent that makes up the entire world? Yeah. Hey, or is it, at this I time, Glenwood is kind of like the domain. America with Europe of the world, and there is other bits just undiscovered by uh, this? Guys, English, I'm assuming What's a domain? What's a on this, it, this is the entirety well, of the world. It's, it's super uh, continent. Looks to be. Forget it. We'll talk about it over a meal. Got what we came for, right? Yeah, looks like our expedition has come to an end. Cool, let's go. I just got bored all the way back into my gourd. Didn't know you could do that. For real? Looks like it. No comment. Nothing from Miklia? <laughs> Nothing from Miklia. What's that? Safe point. It's also a uh, monolith. Oh! I hadn't seen you before. What are you? Rosvia, the chair I made in the image of a wool god. Where is gifts the wearer the purity of heart like the hair on a white coated steed? What does that look like? How do I do that? Uh, equipment. Lila. Hellite tiara. Is it any good? No. Recovery on HP will defend in plus 10. HP recovery when using BG plus 50. Defense up. HP up. And attack up. See, that gives me. I'm gonna keep using that because that gives me the full um, thing here, which gives me all stats plus 20. So I'm just gonna leave her wearing what she is, but what do you say? I can sense the ancient tongue. We're Appears to be wisdom pertaining to the battles written in ancient tongues. Changing control. Oh yeah, you can set the game to run by itself. Pat on the mural. Doesn't the pattern on this mural look familiar? It's like the one that's supposed to be in the Pendrago Shrine. It certainly resembles the drawing in the Celestial Record. You don't suppose one could be a copy of the other? Hmm. Either way, it suggests that this ruin might date from the height of the era of Asgar. Since that's when the Pendrago Shrine was built. Yeah. I'd love to see the Pendrago Shrine too someday. Ha! Huh. Good luck with that one, Your Holiness. Huh? What do you mean? Pendrago is the capital of the Roland's Empire, and the Shrine is the headquarters of their church. These days, only church personnel are allowed inside, and then only the highest of the high. Interesting. Looks like someone isn't deterred. Hmm. So we need to save. And... I had new clothes, didn't I? I need to change my clothes even. I'm gonna put my back back, back on. <clears throat> did I get any clothes? I did! I got these. Changing some battle and music. Uh, LT switch background music. On and off. Okay. Did I get any new haircuts? Nope. Where is my backpack? There it is. You're about the right size? Yep. Cool. Let's head out. Go talk to Oish. I will talk to Oish next time. I hope you have a nice morning, a nice evening, a nice afternoon. I'm going to go talk to Dog Breath when we're finished. That was not a very good jump through. Not at all.